Well, hello there, everybody. Looney Farm Guy here with, well, belated new mod for Thursday, February 17th. Uh, there was quite a few today that I had to go through, but this is, uh, I believe, the last one. The CSZ Implements Pack by DD Mod Passion 9.50 megabytes to download. And it is a, well, not your the one we remember from 19, but... Um, it has some interesting bits to it, and we'll go through them one by one. Uh, the first one we're going to consider is uh, this one, because it really has no purpose in the game, although <clears throat> it's, uh, uh, well, it's called a mixer for liquid manure. $1,000, we're going to hook it up and uh, try it out, but it really serves no purpose in the actual game game it's just a decoration something to play around with maybe a role play of some sort uh you're going to find it under uh miscellaneous purely decorative object as it says <laughs> decorational sorry decorational object okay uh and you can have a telehandler wheel loader or a three point link to it uh we have a tractor here let's just go ahead and and hook up to it. I think it actually might turn on. Uh, we will see. And once we get that out of the way, we'll get down to business. All right, so we can turn it on. There you go. Turn it on and adjust it. And it's meant to uh, something you stick into the slurry pit to mix it up to get it liquefied. <coughs> Looks like some kind of Mad Max uh, thing they would have on their vehicles. All right, so let's uh, let's put. Oh, oh, that's kind of neat. It stays up. All right, so next we have two identical-looking blades here. One I have already dislodged. Uh, these are. Uh, a, a silage leveler and a snow blade and as far as I can tell they are identical except that uh, you can find them in different spots winter equipment has the uh, one there it is this dozer blade $3,500 uh, you can get it with a three-point link telehandler or a wheel loader so very adaptable as you could say to whatever scenery you have and once you buy it you can of course go and modify it in your uh, workshop uh, to uh, have it as any with any kind of attacher you want and of course um, once attached uh, L1 is your up and down and R1 are no tilt Hmm, okay, there's no tilt option or anything. It's just on there, up or down. Okay, so that kind of limits its uh, adjustability uh, when using it either, <coughs> either as a snow or a, uh, again, up or down, R1, L1. You can also do the lower with the circle and lift with the circle and that's the a dozer blade as we said the other one was in the levelers as we can see here dozer blade $3,500 it doesn't make any distinction I would imagine you could use it for either or snow or leveling chaff uh, the, your usual three-point telehandler or wheel loader attachments all right now on to some more interesting bits. Uh, we'll leave the best to last here. We it also comes with an adapter, and this adapter hooks onto a three-point. As you can see, we're going to hook it up right now. So we'll hook up to a three-point, and you can find this under miscellaneous. Oh, too far. There it is, the adapter. Uh, 
Oh, the description is better. At $1,300, it adapts from vehicle by three points of the tractor to a telehandler tool. So, this is a telehandler link there, and of course, it's up. It's hooked up as a three-point link. All right. And that's it for that. No colored options or anything. <clears throat> the next two are uh, quite interesting. Uh, because of, uh, well, they're auto-loading, if you could call it that. They're, well, containers in a way. Uh, so let's hook this one up. It's the cage. So the cage you might have seen in miscellaneous. Cage. At the CSE Implements Pack. So, <clears throat> uh, again, you could have it as a three-point front loader, and it changes size or a telehandler <clears throat> now capacities are interesting because uh, if we stay with three point front loader telehandler wheel loader and three points so there's four choices big bags tanks or big bags so we have one of each so there's big bags two and tanks 250 kilogram Anyways, we're going to test them out because <clears throat> I was curious to see how these work. What do you mean big bags? Well, as you can see, the refill cage has popped up. And if you press that, the L3, it puts a little container in there, but it's filled up the seeds. Now, I was wondering, will it fill up from a normal seed? And yes, so <clears throat> it just doesn't have to be just big bags. It will hold 2,000 liters of seed. Uh, now, let's uh, see if we can unload. See, there we go. We can unload it, and it'll pop up as those, and then we can reload it. But <clears throat> now I'm wondering, can we fill this up from a uh, multi-buy? station and the answer is no so this cage will only basically uh, the premise is you can <clears throat> you're putting the the things in it into a, a container so you're just basically transferring <clears throat> uh, that into your cage a thousand liters at a time for two of those <clears throat> now once they're in there can you uh, refill a cedar directly from this well the answer is yes we were gonna just uh, go grab a, a cedar real quick and uh, there it is over there And as you can see, it automatically opens up. Uh, and we're gonna have to drop that. And I will just show you that, uh, yes, you can fill seed. And there we go. <clears throat> it's taking out of the cage. Like so. Of course, you can fit it on the back as well. Now there's no uh, trailer hitch on it. That would have been nice if it had a trailer hitch on the back uh, for multi-purpose applications. Uh, now let's unload that. And it said big bags, so let's try something a little bit out of the. Uh, how about pig food? And yes, a little pig food. So anything that's uh, that you can find in a big bag. Now will it load pig food and seed? Now only one thing at a time, uh, as if it was a container that you were filling. It just looks, just has the appearance 
of a crate. Now, the other one, the other option, if we go back into there, the other option, if you recall, was tanks. Tanks, but no tanks. Um, so we have some liquid uh, fertilizer here and it will do the same thing it will appear as a tiny little IBS a little baby IBS tank and will we'll fill and yes you can transfer this I use it to uh, put a uh, uh, fill that uh, fill a sprayer or something uh, from that so what other kind of liquids uh, do we have perhaps uh, perhaps we have uh, milk on a pallet uh, where's my milk I thought I had milk here <laughs> oh I guess not maybe uh, canola oil I haven't tried this yet, but uh, will canola oil fill up? No. So basically only the liquids, uh, liquids in the pallets. Uh, how about this one? This is liquid, it's, but it's on a pallet. And yes, because it's a liquid fertilizer, in pallet form it will fill and there it goes filling up all right <clears throat> and when it empties it looks like oh there's quite a bit in there uh, looks like that and you can of course refill it again and I think that pretty much covers it uh, there might be some other things you might be able to refill. Uh, we'll do one more check. I don't think it's going to do it, but we can see if we can fill it from the multi-filling station. But it seems to appear that these things, yeah, no, it won't fill from here. So, it has to be on a... Uh, in an IBS or... Uh, <clears throat> on a on a pallet of some kind it would appear and so there it is uh, I think I've covered all the bases with that uh, what did I say uh, well there's seven hundred dollars like we've seen it again uh, whoops passed it yeah seven hundred bucks so that's not bad it'll hold uh, various amounts depending on what you're putting in there and that's the uh, CSZ implements pack by DD Mod Passion 9.5 megabytes to download a handy little tool for perhaps a smaller operation that needs just uh, to be able to uh, you don't want to carry them around with a forklift it's an easy way to transport liquid or big bags without the use of a forklift and it will basically transfer for product to and from uh, so I see it as a good uh, alternate to the to the forklift and of course the some various attachments on there make it very versatile indeed seems to be the CSC packs in uh, many different ways are very versatile and useful in some way shape or form I'm Looney Farm Guy and remember it's only a game so till next time bye for now <laughs>